Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install VirtualBox on your Windows 10 operating system. This procedure will work properly fine on Windows 8 and Windows 7 also. So if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8, uh, this tutorial will be you know same for you. Okay. So first of all, what is VirtualBox? VirtualBox is a free open source uh, software using which you can install different kind of operating system on your native operating system. So for example, right now I have Windows 10 and when I install VirtualBox, I will be able to install, for example, uh, Linux operating system, different kind of Linux operating system, for example, Ubuntu or Linux Mint or diff uh, other operating system. If you want to install even Windows or some other operating system also on your native, uh, you know, for example, Windows operating system, you can do it using VirtualBox. So let's see how we can uh, download and install VirtualBox. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for uh, VirtualBox. And the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org. So just click this link. Now in this uh, website, once it will open, you will be able to see uh, the downloads uh, section here. And you will also see uh, this kind of, uh, you know, introduction to VirtualBox. So if you want to know about VirtualBox more, then uh, you can, uh, you know, read this documentation. And you can see at the time of making this video, I can just click this button also and it will download the latest version of uh, VirtualBox, which is 5.1. But I want to just click this option, which says Downloads. And here I can see uh, the downloads for different uh, operating systems. So I can install VirtualBox on uh, Windows or OS X or Linux operating system and other Linux uh, operating systems also. So right now I want to install it on Windows. So I can just click this uh, Windows option here. And it's going to download the executable file. It's about 118 megabyte file. So it will take uh, around uh, you know one minute to few minutes to download uh, this file so just wait until this uh, file is downloaded and once it will be downloaded we will see how we can install it okay so now the download of uh, this virtual box executable file is completed so i am going to double click on this uh, executable file and i'm going to minimize my browser also and we will see how we can uh, install virtual box so it's a straightforward procedure. First of all, your uh, installer will start and it will say welcome to the Oracle VM VirtualBox setup. So here we just need to click next. Now in here also we need to uh, just leave everything as default until and unless you know what you are doing, right? And this is the location where VirtualBox will be installed. So if you also don't have a good reason to change it just leave it as default and click next and then if you want the start menu entries then leave these uh, checkbox uh, checked and this second option will create the shortcut on your desktop third will be the quick launcher and fourth will be the register file uh, association which is totally fine so i'm going to leave everything as default and once again i will click next and then I will click yes and then I will click install which is going to start installing VirtualBox on my Windows operating system and in between you will be able to see this kind of uh, user account control warning you just need to click yes here to allow VirtualBox to use your uh, you know account settings and then it's going to start here and once this progress bar reaches to the 100% uh, mark, then uh, we will see what will be the next step. Okay, so it's not going to take uh, much time. You can see it's, uh, you know, installing uh, the virtual box really fast. So just leave it as uh, it is. Once it's done, we will see how the virtual box looks. Okay, now in between, you will also see uh, this kind of uh, Windows security uh, question. 
it says oracle corporation uh, wants to install this uh, universal serial bus on our uh, system we just need to install it so just click install and then let it complete and now i can see this uh, virtual box uh, icon on my desktop also it will be uh, in my start menu also once uh, it completes the installation so when i will see here once this uh, virtual box installation is completed i will be able to find this virtual box on my start menu also because i leave uh, this checkbox checks checked for the start menu options now the installation of uh, virtual box is finished on my system so i will leave this uh, checkbox checks which is going to launch my virtual box once I click uh, this finish button, so I need to click this finish button, and now the virtual box will launch on my Windows operating system. You can see once uh, the virtual box is started, it's going to look like this. Now, in here, we can add new operating systems as a virtual machine on our uh, Windows operating system. So, for example, I want to uh, you know install a uh, linux ubuntu operating system on this virtual box i just need to download its uh, iso file which is freely available on the ubuntu linux website and once i have the iso file i can create a new uh, virtual box or virtual machine by clicking this new button and in here i will just uh, write ubuntu here and then uh, you can see it's automatically recognizes that i want to install ubuntu and then once i have the iso file i will be able to you know go through these options and then i will be able to you know install any operating system which is supported by virtualbox on my uh, host machine which is the windows 10 operating system so in this way you don't even need to uninstall your host uh, uh, operating system and you can use different operating system on your host operating system right so i hope you have enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and bye for now